Hi, I'm Tara with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. Today, we're going to take a look at four simple types of wedding aisle decorations. They're all really easy to make at home, so feel free to add your own personal touches. We're going to start with this hanging mason jar arrangement. Here's what you'll need to make it. A mason jar with attached wire for hanging, floral stems, water crystals, wire cutters, ribbons, and scissors. First, add the water crystals to the mason jar. You'll want to use one full packet of water crystals and a half a cup of water. Now watch them grow. Now tie on a few ribbons to add some texture. And don't be afraid to layer several types together like I have here. Once you've tied on the ribbons, all that's left to do is arrange your flowers. Start by holding up your stems next to the jar to determine how tall they should be. Then cut them to the right size and position them in the jar. There's no wrong way to do it, just work with the stems until you like the way it looks. And just like that, you've got beautiful arrangements that are ready to hang in the aisles. Now let's try something a little bit different. This project involves a floral swag and some fabric for draping across the backs of your chairs. You'll need floral stems, fabric, scissors, wire cutters, a hot glue gun and glue sticks, floral wire, and decoration fasteners. First, you'll want to cut your fabric. We used about two and a half yards. And since you don't need the fabric to be very wide, you can just cut right down the fold line to get two pieces for two chairs. Just be sure you cut nice, neat lines. For the floral swag, start by cutting your stems to about three inches long. Wrap a few flowers together with floral wire and apply some hot glue. Then add a decoration fastener hook for easy hanging and wrap it with more wire. Now let's work on the draping portion. We're using stems of wisteria for ours. You'll start by cutting right beneath the blooms. Then dab some hot glue onto the arrangement you just made and push the draping blooms into place. You can add as much as you like here. The more you add, the more luxurious it will look. When you're ready to assemble your decorations, tie the fabric around the back of the chair and simply clip on the floral swag. This next project is really simple to make and it's a great way to add the finishing touches to your ceremony decor. To make it, just take some lavender stems and tie them together with twine. Then tie the lavender bunches to your chairs. Add some long ribbons to finish it off and you're done. For our final project, we'll show you how we made a lighted greenery garland. This eucalyptus garland comes ready made so all you have to do is add the lights. Just wrap and twist the strand of lights through the sprigs. We used rice lights because they're small enough to tuck into the garland without making it bulky. And to hide the battery pack, we painted it green to match the garland. Just be sure to wrap the pack with floral wire to keep it in place. And that's it. Drape your garland over the backs of the chairs to line the aisles. You can join multiple garlands together with floral wire. Now you've got some great ideas to get you started on your ceremony decor, and we can't wait to see what else you come up with. Thanks so much for joining us at the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. We'll see you next time.